In the very first lecture of this section, we learned that we can add a route either in the app modules file or we can create a separate file and there we can define our routes. So we have already seen how to define routes in the app modules file and use it in our Angular application. Now in this lecture, let's go ahead and define the routes inside a separate file and then let's see how to use those routes in our Angular application. So typically, if you have more than two or three routes defined, we don't add it directly in the app modules file. Instead, we can add a new module file, which will be for the whole application. And inside that module file, we can add our routes. We can define our routes. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new module file. So inside this app folder, let's create a new file. Let's call this file app routing. And this is going to be a module file. So for that, we use dot module. So for app module, we have this app dot module. So for this app routing, we have app routing dot module. And since it is going to be a TypeScript file, the extension is dot ts. Inside this file, let's create and export a class. And let's call this class app routing module. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to be a module file. It is going to be a module class. So to do that, we need to decorate this class with at ng module decorator. Okay. And in order to use this at ng module decorator, we also need to import it from angular slash go. And to this ng module decorator, we pass an object where we can specify some metadata. Okay. So what we have done so far, we have created this app routing module class and decorated it with at ng module decorator. Now we need to define our routes inside this file. So for that, I'm going to app modules file. And from here, I will cut this routes array. And let's use it inside this app routing module. So before this ng module, let's define our routes. Now here, we also need to include all the required imports. So again, I will go back to app modules file. And from here, I will copy all these imports. And then we will delete those imports, which is not required. So we are already importing this ng module. So let's remove this import from here. Then we don't need this browser modules in this file. Let's remove this import as well. We need this router module. So let's keep it. We don't need this module, this app component here. Let's remove that. We don't need this courses service inside this file. Let's also remove that. And we don't need this forms module as well. So let's remove that. All right. Now, if I go to this app module, you will notice that for this ng module decorator, we are specifying some properties. So we are specifying this declaration property, this imports property, this provides providers property and this bootstrap property. Now for this app routing module, we don't need to add declarations here because these components, you know, these components which we are using here inside this app routing module, they are already declared inside this app modules. So here you can see they're already declared. So we don't need to redeclare them inside our app routing module. And if we try to do that, it will actually give us an error. All right. Now, since we have moved our route definition inside this app routing module file from here we can remove this router module so we don't need to specify it inside the import section of this app module okay and we can also remove this import from here because we are no longer using it inside this file and now we need to define this router module we need to re register this router module inside this app routing module Okay, so inside this ng module decorator, let's specify the imports array. And to this, we assign an array. And inside this array, let's register the router module. Okay, and in order to use this router module, we also need to import it from Angular router. All right, and just like before on this, let's call for root method. And to this for root method, we can pass our defined routes. We are storing it inside this app route constant. So let's pass that to this for root method. Now this alone is not enough because we want to use this app routing module 
to outsource our routes. Therefore, we need to add our app routing module back to our main module. For that, we need to add an exports array here. And again, to this we assign an array. And inside this exports array, we specify what we want to export from this modules file that can be used in other modules file. Okay, so from here, we simply want to export router module. Okay, and when we are exporting it, we don't need to call this for root method. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. And the only thing which is left now is to register this app routing module inside this app module. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So inside this import section, let's register this app routing module. And in order to use it, we also need to import it from this file. With this, let's save the changes and our routing in our Angular application should still be working as earlier. Okay, so let's go back to our Angular application. So if I click on this home page, it is taking us to the home page. If I click on this about link, it is taking us to the about page. If I click on this contact link, it is taking us to the contact page. If I click on this courses link, it is taking us to the courses page. And if I click on this show details button, it is showing us the detail of that course. So everything is working as expected. Okay, so the routing in our application is still working as earlier. But now we have moved the routes from our app modules file to a separate routing module file. And this is how we should define routing in real world Angular projects. We should always create a separate file for our routes in our Angular application.